Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get a bunch of the brand new lucky dice for the one and only RNG event, so you can have a pretty good chance of rolling some really good pets. So if you guys do want to enjoy this video, then make sure to smash the like button and click the subscribe button as well to support the channel, because I would greatly appreciate it, so thank you if you do. Also, if you really enjoy PetSim99 trading, entering giveaways, and just overall want to be a part of my wonderful community, then make sure to join my Discord server by clicking the link in the description down below. Now, one more thing before we get into this video, you guys know what time it is, it is giveaway time. So, I'm going to be giving away 10 10 million gems to two lucky winners out there so to enter this giveaway all you got to do is like the video subscribe to the channel and comment your roblox username in the comment section down below best of luck to you guys i hope you win now enough yippity happen let's get into the video and get you some dice okay so we are now inside of the rng world itself so if you don't understand how this whole event works this is pretty much a short example of it you come in here you click the roll button you're gonna roll for a pet it's gonna give you a random one could be one in eight one in five or one in a couple million either way that's how many coins you're going to get Get. it's going to be added to your rng coins then you're going to come over here to the rng upgrades and upgrade your different stuff and well that's pretty much everything you do inside of the event but if you want to know how to get increased odds or just have a better chance of getting that free to play titanic or one of the four huges that's in this event then well i'm going to show you guys by getting the one and only four lucky dice in the game so what these lucky dice actually do is once you pop one of these items they can either give you a boost or they can give you a one-time boost of luck just for one specific role you have an increased chance of getting something absolutely insane so we're now going to get into the four lucky dice in the game talk about them and well how to get them in general so let's do it so the first lucky dice that we have is just the ordinary lucky dice what this item actually does is once you click it it will increase your roll luck by 100 for exactly one minute only giving you increased odds on getting better stuff and while being able to get you more coins the second lucky dice we got is lucky dice 2 which is just the upgraded version of the lucky dice and what this does is it increase your roll luck by 150% for five minutes exactly. So a pretty decent upgrade from the lucky dice itself. Now the next two lucky dice that we got are absolutely overpowered and these are going to be the best chance you have of getting that free to play Titanic and or one of the four huges. The first one we got is called the mega lucky dice. So what this does is it increases your luck of your next roll which is basically one roll only by 1 million percent and well that's just going to give you insane odds right off the start for that single roll helping you get something absolutely absolutely insane or maybe not it all depends on how good your luck is now to the last and final lucky dice we got which is the most overpowered lucky dice of them all and that is the mega lucky dice 2 which increases the luck of your next roll by 10 million percent giving you the best odds in the game of getting that titanic or one of the four huges so now that you guys know all four of the lucky dice inside of this event let's get into how to get them when you first walk into this world you're going to see something labeled the dice merchant well this is the merchant that you can buy the lucky dice from so you just walk up to him he'll restock you can just click on buy and buy all the dice that you need sometimes even more and you can have up to six slots inside of the merchant now from this merchant you are able to get the ordinary lucky dice you can get the golden version of the lucky dice which is the lucky dice too and you can also get the first version of the rainbow dice as well now i'm not positive whatsoever if you can actually get the second tier of the rainbow dice from the shop i have not gotten it myself yet or have seen anybody else get it so i'm not really sure on that one but i do know that you can get the first three dice from this merchant so once you buy the lucky dice from the merchant itself you're now going to head on over here to the dice crafting so this machine itself is absolutely amazing so you go inside of the dice crafting and you're going to have three options you can either craft the lucky dice two which is the golden dice you can craft the first rainbow and then you can craft the one and only tier two of the rainbow dice itself but you pretty much need to go through this exact order so you just go through the lucky dice you make some of these make 16 then you head back in the machine after crafting those you head to mega lucky dice which cost 30 lucky dice two and 100,000 rng coins you click create boom you now just created a rainbow dice the first version of it and then you can head on over here to the mega lucky dice and then you just need three of the first version of the rainbow dice and then 300,000 rng coins to create well the most op dice in the game now, the reason i showed you guys the dice crafting the dice merchant is because well that's how you get a ton of dice and uh, i'm going to show you guys how now the only way to get lucky dice inside of the rng event is the dice merchant itself you can not get them anywhere else you have to buy them from the dice merchant and then once you do that then you can craft other 
other different versions of the lucky dice. So what you're going to do is head over to the dice merchant. Once you buy everything from the dice merchant, it's then going to say sold out. And well, you have to wait for the merchant himself to restock his shop. Now, this is going to be different for everyone because it's going to base off of how high your level is for the merchant mastery itself. So once you go into your inventory, you go to mastery, you can then scroll down a little bit. You'll see the economy mastery right here, which as you can see, mine is a decently high level. If you go inside of here and scroll down to level 50, you will see that it's called faster merchants one. And you have a 1.5 times multiplier for the merchant restock speed, making it a decent bit faster and help that merchant be able to restock his shop to where you can obviously buy a lot more lucky dice. And then if you scroll down a little more, you will see that you can get a three times merchant restock speed at level 90, making it the fastest possible way for that merchant to restock his shop. And while well, you can pretty much buy dice way before anybody else does, that's obviously not level 90. So like I said, this is going to be different for every single player. It all just depends on what level your economy mastery is. So if you're someone that doesn't have level 50 and or level 90 of the mastery, it's really not that big of a deal. You're just going to have to wait a little bit longer for the merchant to restock than someone that has the mastery leveled up. But either way, let's get into the merchant restock times and pretty much how to get dice super fast. So if you're someone that doesn't have your mastery leveled up, you're going to have to wait five to 10 minutes for your merchant to restock. And I'm pretty sure it's pushing more towards the 10 minutes mark. I haven't actually calculated it myself, but I do have other accounts that don't have the mastery leveled up and it's pretty much a 10 minute wait time for the dice merchant himself to restock. Now, if you're someone like me that has over level 50 or at least level 50 of the mastery with a 1.5 times restock speed, then you will only have to wait four to five minutes for the merchant to restock. It could be even earlier than that. I'm not really sure. I haven't done too many calculations, but it's around that timer. And then if you're someone that has your mastery fully maxed out with level 50 and level 90, then your merchant is going to restock every couple of minutes. I think it's like two to three minutes or something like that. The merchant restocks and you'll obviously be able to get lucky dice a lot faster than someone with just level 50 or someone that doesn't even have the mastery leveled up whatsoever. So if you want to get a lot of lucky dice fast, I definitely recommend leveling up that economy mastery so you can get level 90 and level 50 and get the fastest restock time. Now that I covered the mastery and all that types of stuff and pretty much the restock speed, let's get into how to auto AFK buying the dice from the dice merchant every time he restocks, depending on the level of your mastery. So the first thing that you are going to need for this method to work is a program called Tiny Task. Tiny Task is completely free. It's virus free and it's not bannable whatsoever. So if you're scared to use it, don't worry, you will not get banned. It's just a little program that a lot of people use to record whatever they do on their computer. So once you have Tiny Task downloaded, you're pretty much just going to go through these quick little easy steps. So you're just going to go to preferences here. You can click the drop down menu. You're going to click your play speed. So just do like the default, you know, one times or two times. It really doesn't matter. Now you're going to head on down here to continuous playback. You're going to set your recording hotkey and playback hotkey. Doesn't matter which key you set it to. Just something that you can remember and won't get in the way and well that's pretty much everything to it okay so once you press the recording hotkey you're just going to move over to the left a little bit to where the ui pops up and definitely make sure to click the buy button multiple times on the fifth and sixth tier because sometimes you can buy multiple of the same stack of dice just like the sixth tier here as you can see i can buy three stacks of that and you want to make sure you do not miss any lucky dice once you've bought all of them and click these multiple times right here you're then going to click the x and then move over to the right and then this is where the process is going to start so if you're someone that does not have your mastery leveled up whatsoever, you want your recording to be at least five to 10 minutes long. So you're able to go back inside the dice merchant and everything's not going to be sold out. Now, if you're someone that has level 50 of the mastery, then you're only going to have a four to five minute recording to where you can go back in. And then if you're someone that has both level 50 and level 90, you're only going to have a two to three minute recording. So like I said before, I didn't get the exact calculations on how long the recording has to be. You're pretty much going to have to figure that out yourself. It all just depends on the mastery level that you have. So you can pretty much just buy everything from the shop, put up a timer really quick once you buy everything or once the shop actually restocks. And then you can just have a timer keep going until the next restock happens. And then you can base your recording off of that. But like I said, I just have a rough estimate on what the time would actually be. I didn't fully calculate it. So like I said, again, that's something you're going to have to do. But either way, once you got the exact time down for the mastery that you have, you can then stop the recording. Then you can just play back the recording and then it's going to go through. It's going to move left. It's going to buy all the dice again. And then it's going to click the X. It's going to stop and wait there for the exact time that you have. And then it's going to repeat the same process over and over again buying all the dice and getting you pretty much everything that you exactly need. So that is the fastest way and the best way to get lucky dice inside of the RNG event and giving you the best possible odds to get that free to play Titanic and one of the four huges as well. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully you found it helpful. If you guys have any questions regarding this video,
video and or Pet Simulator 99 in general, then let me know in the comment section down below. Without further ado, this is the end of the video, so make sure to smash the like button, click the subscribe button, and click the notification bell to never miss an upload. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out, everybody.